walking up to a service call where I am going to check out a couple systems that I I installed one of them. It's an Amana from about it's like two or three years ago. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. But it's not uh, the Amana's fine. I'm just checking it out quickly. The other unit's a Carrier Tech 2000. I put a zone system on in 2011. They said it's a little humid downstairs. They're on the beach, so it may be nothing wrong. But I'm gonna check through both of those units with the Eye Connect. Well, I'll check uh, the one with the eye connected and the upstairs with the spoiler tool since it's just getting a quick check through. So we're heading up Highway 172 here, going to Sneeds Ferry, North Carolina, right near the Camp Lejeune Marine Base in Jacksonville. I'm about 15 or 20 minutes from Jacksonville right now. So a little bit closer to Jacksonville than my normal stop of ground, which is Wilmington, North Carolina. But every now and then I get a customer up in Jacksonville or up this way, Richlands or something like that. But today is one of those days because I'm up at Sneeds Ferry, another little hamlet by the sea. off just a little bit to get your pressure in there. These are king valves that have no Schraders and you back it off a little bit to get some pressure in there.
nice because you can uh, take your stuff and put it on there. Not have to worry about getting sprayed with the refrigerator. You put your thing on there, tighten this back up just about a quarter half turn to get your pressure in that hose so you can get your um, readings. Same thing here. No Schrader. Put your hose on there. Turn this, tighten it back down a little bit. Not all the way, just about a half a turn. Then here we have 218 over 66. So we'll get the rest of our stuff plugged in so we can get our information to the document. We have all of our probes hooked up. We have, this is my ambient temperature sensor. I just took a pipe clamp and kind of rolled it up there. On top, we have superheat going right over here. And then on the high side probe, I have one going to get subcooling right here. Let it run for a few more minutes and we will assess where our budget are at. This machine is a 99 model, so we're 16 years old, and we need a required subcooling of nine. Got a little bit of a low subcooling, so I've got the refrigerant bottle hooked up to the suction side, and I have the I manifold I connect probe on the true suction, so we don't need to have any valve core removers or anything like that. I'll put a little bit of charge into it, see if I can bring that sub subcooling back up in the uh, nine range, and I'll check back with you guys once I do that. Okay guys, I have the spoiling tool on the same unit now, nine degrees of subcool and 28 degrees of superheat. So we've set it out a little bit, the measurements are a little bit different as far as temperature, but it looks like we're close to being properly charged at least. I had to take the I connect off of here because the app kept crashing for some reason. Uh, I put a pound of refrigerant into the machine, I was trying to work the app over here and it kept resetting every time my data signal would come in and out because I'm in a bad area. I don't know if that's a new thing or something that occurred before, but not quite sure why that's going on. I have a little bit of drop in pressure here. Spoiling tool but it's getting very cold inside as well. We are now checking over the Amana I installed a couple of years ago with the spoiling tool, of course. Looks like not too far off here. We got 7.5 degrees sub cooling, 348 over 143 with 18 degrees superheat. Superheat will probably come down a bit, I'm guessing. Although it might be a little bit humid and hot up there as well. But not looking too bad. And definitely not looking too bad since I charged it heat. So we'll let it run for a few minutes. The old carrier is back to tip top shape. And as you see, we were in a closed area before. But they had actually opened it up now, so it's kind of nice. There's no more window AC right there, dumping heat in there. And it's actually a little bit cooler back here, which is good for the units. So we got the Carrier Tech 2000, the Amana ASZ14, Chessie 15 Sear, I think, matched up with the AVPTC in the attic. And uh, I think that's from two or three years ago. It's hard to remember. It's on YouTube somewhere. Y'all can find it if you want to. Tech 2000s, doing the best it can. So. But that's about all we have here, guys. I'm gonna pick up my stuff here, head on out of here. Maybe I'll get a picture of that dike on the way out that I installed. I and mean, that was like a year or two ago, too. It's hard to remember. These things run together. Yeah.